Hi, welcome to the video on the filter tab exposed in the Visp Properties dialog of the visualizations in Oracle Analytics Cloud. So as a retailer, I want to do a comparison of how my sales and profit numbers are actually looking like across the various states in the United States. For that, I've created a canvas. So the bar charts are focused on my profit across the customer segment and tile actually represents my sales numbers. So I've created two copies of the same. And then there are also two list boxes here. So the list box visualization, its properties are actually covered in a separate video. So I would recommend you to watch that video before moving on. So my first step here is to create a country filter across the canvas and filter it by the value United States. So as you can see, all the visualizations in this canvas reacted to this filter. So now I want to do a comparison. So I'm going to configure my canvas in such a way that when I choose a value from my left list box, the bar chart and the tile chart on the left hand side react to that particular values from the list box. Similarly, when I choose some values in the right list box, the bar chart and the tile chart on the right hand side react to those particular values. So I'm gonna click on bar chart and as you can see in the Visp properties dialog, there is a new tab called the filters tab. And here you have the option to choose the filters that this particular visualization can actually obey to. One is the country wide canvas. The other one is the list box visualization, but this list box actually represents the one on the right hand side. But I want to configure it in such a way that the left side charts respond to the left list box and the right side chart respond to the right side list box. So I'm, I'm not going to select this and I'm going to go and select the left side list box, which is the list box two. And I want to do the same configuration for tile as well. Similarly, for the charts on the right hand side, I want it to respond to the country filter across the canvas and the list box visualization on the right hand side. Similarly for the tile chart as well. Now, once you click on this list box in the filter tab, there are two sections. One is the list box can also be filtered by other values. So a list box, there is a section called filter this list box by. So I'm just going to choose the country column here because I want the values in the state belonging to whatever country that's being selected. And I'm not going to listen to the filter that happens in the other list box, right? So I'm just going to select the country for the filter this list by. And what are the visualizations that I can apply the value of this list box to? And I'm going to choose the left-hand side bar chart and the tile chart, which is tile two and the bar chart too. Similarly, for this list box, I'm going to filter this list by only the countrywide canvas filter. And I'm going to apply the value of this list box to the right-hand side charts of the tile and bar chart. So I'm going to choose California for the left side list box. And as you can see, the charts, the bar chart and the tile chart in the left side alone responded to a value California that was selected using the left list box. So similarly, if I, I can go ahead and choose another state here, and I'm going to choose Colorado. And you can see that left side visualizations remain unchanged, whereas the bar chart and the tile chart in the right hand side responded to the value that was selected using this list box. So this gives a self-service user complete flexibility in creating interactive and customized canvases. Thanks for watching the video.